High Road Product Review with me, Keith Warren. All right, everybody, on this video, we got something pretty explosive. Okay, this is Martin Hill. Martin is with PMP Hill out of Missouri. Tell them what you got there. What I've got is a AR-15 platform chambered into 45 ACP full auto. Full auto. Now, I want to point something out. You take a look at this. This is not my rifle. If it was my rifle right here, it'd have Timber Creek gear on it. But Martin is a custom rifle builder. And as such, he built the parts on this rifle. And I think anybody uh, on their bucket list would want to shoot a full auto rifle. What we're going to do, we've got some cantaloupe set up down here. We got this rifle actually here topped off with a Pulsar Trail rifle scope. Now, this is a thermal rifle scope. It records audio and video. And what we're going to wind up doing, we're going to go ahead and start recording video here. Just like that. We're going to take aim and we're going to show you what this bad boy does. Let's go ahead and put it on the sweet spot. Y'all ready? Yes. Fire in the hole. Here goes. Holy smoke! Now, let me tell you something. It is hard to hold this thing. Hard, hard, hard to hold it. What we're gonna wind up doing, I can tell right now, we're gonna have to have some type of a system to be able to hold this down. Because next on this video, we plan on taking this 45 and going on a hog hunt. Stick with us. set up in a spot where uh, we've killed a lot of hogs and uh, but nobody's been here about the last month if we showed you on video of some previous hunts we've taken here it's clear that I mean, this place is loaded they called and said do you want to uh, come kill a bunch of hogs and they said bring whatever you want so you'll notice in the front of it I've got a, a big sandbag this sandbag is actually full of lead to hold this thing down when you shoot this full auto it rises up with a little recoil of course, we've got uh, these big mags. You take a look at that. That's a, a 20 round mag loaded up with streak ammunition. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna get it all loaded up now. That's as much noise we're gonna make. We're gonna set it down here. We've got it all set up. And so all I've gotta do is flip the safety over to full auto when they come in, take aim, and let them have it. So. And all they have to do is they have to show up for the gig. The good news is we had these ducks come in here for about 45 minutes and they have mopped up the corn, which the only corn left is the pile of corn over there. So it's going to concentrate the hogs if they show up in one spot. So that's really, really good. But these ducks right here, they have been helping me out big time. And we've been helping them out too. But they sound kind of ugly. We just had a really nice boar come in. I mean, a really nice boar. He came in and he was spooky as could be. And I was holding off, waiting for him to go to the corn pile. And I'll be doggone if that raccoon right there didn't really move. I mean, it's like, that must be one bad dude right there. Because that was probably a 100 pound boar hawk. But I can see that raccoon right there. He's not worried at all. That hog took off. Bigger one. Let's just wait. 
And if they line up, I'll go ahead and take a shot. Uh oh, here comes a coon. Look at that. He ran him off again. Dead gum. Something may need to be done about that. Okay, so, oh, there's another raccoon right there. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I think they're gonna line up. And there we go. Yeah, they're close. Yeah, they're close enough. I'm gonna shoot. Here goes. There we go. I hit both of them. I hit both of them. Nice. Right, that was pretty cool. I mean, it knocked him on his butt too. And that's what you call graveyard dead right there. Well, my hog hunt rapidly turned into a raccoon hunt. You know, I wound up, uh, bought a fully automatic rifle from Martin Hill out here. And I, I actually thought that uh, it was going to be a whole lot easier than what it was. I learned a lot from it. To be honest with you, you know, the, the, the hogs, they are constantly moving, constantly moving. And I've never seen hogs scared of raccoons before. That was a first for me. So anyway, I was hoping to take hogs. I was not successful doing that, but I did wind up taking a couple of raccoons. The other one's back there in the woods. And I'm gonna go get him in the morning. I'm not gonna go back there and run the risk of getting snake bit. But anyway, we're gonna have a direct link down below of this video to get a hold of Martin Hill with PMP Hill. And uh, if you got any questions on the rifle, you can contact him. If you want to contact Pulsar for any of this thermal gear that we've been using, we'll have a direct link on the bottom of the video for that as well. And uh, what we're trying to do is we're actually looking at the streak ammunition. The streak ammunition is a relatively new product. It's a non-incendiary tracer round, if you will. Uh, what I'm using is the full metal jackets because this gun feeds the full metal jackets real well. Uh, full metal jackets shoot great. They just don't do a real good job of killing animals as well as do the hollow point street ammunition. So anyway, it was cool watching them. Uh, I, I hit them both. They both reacted uh, real nicely to it. Uh, this one died in short order. The other one's back in the brush, like I said, but uh, it's really cool. The streak ammunition allows somebody to actually sit back and actually connect with your ammunition because you can see where it's flying. My name is Keith Warren, and I'd like to ask you to subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.